Hey everyone, we are going to talk about the energy systems today, most specifically the phosphagen system. Phosphagen system. So before we get started, uh, we're going to take another look at the sliding filament theory. So ADP and P, which is adenosine diphosphate and phosphate, are attached to the myosin head. In order for the power stroke to occur, for the contraction to occur, um, basically ADP and P have to release. They have to release from the myosin head to create the power stroke. So our goal here is to make ATP because we need ATP in order to basically make the myosin head release from the actin and for to prepare for another another uh, power stroke or, or binding. So here we have our ADP and our phosphate that we just had on our myosin head and they're just free floating around in our cells and we also have creatine here which is a, uh, a game changer here. So creatine, what we'll do, we'll uh, kind of partner up here with phosphate. So creatine and phosphate are partnering up to make phosphocreatine or creatine phosphate. There's different ways of saying it. And it will go along with ADP, adenosine diphosphate, and with the help of creatine kinase, it will turn into ATP or adenosine triphosphate. So I like to think about it this way. You are creatine and phosphate is your one of your good friends and you have ADP which is another good friend and you think ADP and phosphate which are both your friends they need to get together and get married you're like man they, they really are awesome together but you think they would be so basically you take phosphate and you bring him or her to meet ADP and with the magic of love or creatine kinase in this example they get married and they become one so they're ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and then you're kind of left on your own creatine as a third wheel. You're kind of just hanging out like I'm single still. So another way that we can create energy is we take adenylase kinase reaction or the mild kinase re reaction. And this is super, super similar to uh, your phosphocreatine deal here. Now, instead of taking a phosphate and ADP, or adenosine diphosphate, we'll take two ADP, and with the help of the magical adenylase kinase, what we'll do is we'll create ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and AMP, aden adenosine monophosphate. So if you're ever wondering what T, D, and M are, T is tri, so three, so that means three phosphate. D means di, is di, which is two, which means two, or two phosphate. And M is mono, which is one, or one phosphate. Now, if you notice in this equation and in the one before, the arrows go both ways, that's because they can both get married and get divorced. Okay, it goes two ways, goes two directions there. So basically this will continue on through the law of mass action. So the law of mass action basically states, um, basically the, the, the more demand that this thing is in, that the more it will occur. So basically it's, we're, we're limited by ADP. So the more ADP that is in the cell the more the creatine kinase and the adenylase kinase is going to be used. Okay, so there's going to be less creatine um, in our system, basically, because it's going to be it's going to be catching up all of these all these uh, phosphates. So once that slows down and there's more creatine um, and less ADP in the system, then that starts to move towards the glycolysis. And there you have it. There's the phosphagen system in under five minutes. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please comment. And we'll see you soon.